Hey guys, what's going on? I'm standing here with my man Dan here. Um, we are at a dealership in Boston. Now Dan um, was, is kind enough to want to share some of his experiences with Car Motivators Coaching with you guys so you could make a decision. Um, so, so Dan, um, what were some of the challenges your dealership faced before Car Motivators Coaching? Well, before Sean got here, car, car motivators, we were kind of struggling, trying to find new ways to do things, but always falling back to doing it the same way everybody's been doing it forever, and that just doesn't work very well anymore. Awesome. Yeah, and, and not good. Now, Dan, you've been selling cars for how long? Off and on, about 15 years. And you've worked at how many, and you're very successful, you're one of the top salesmen here, right? Yeah. And uh, you've been, and so you've been doing this for a long time. You've, you've been successful, and you've and you've got a lot of experience selling cars. So, so have you ever seen, uh, you know, a coach or, or a training company or whatever be able to make some changes like we've made at the dealership? Uh, not like this. No, I've seen other places try, but if the ownership and management didn't buy in, then it just kind of fizzled out. But uh, here, everybody from the top down has been buying in, and we've seen great success and big changes really quick. So, it's been working out great, and I'm in. Awesome. Well, Dan, I appreciate that, buddy. What are, what are some of the changes that you believe will benefit the team long term and really lead to the growth of the, the everyone? I, I would have to say getting each guy to buy into taking care of his own stuff and, and occupying their time a lot better and follow up and, and mining for customers instead of just sitting around waiting for people to walk in. And anybody can get lucky for a little while, but I'd rather get lucky every day from hard work. <laughs> well, you know, it's a consistent, ongoing follow-up process, and we always want to be there with you through all the changes and, and figure out what's working and what isn't so we can adapt and overcome those challenges, right? Yep. And Dan, uh, moving forward, um, you know, what would you advise other dealers to do when it comes to, if they're thinking about looking for people development or coaching or training? Well, call car motivators because the way Sean did it, he worked from the top down instead of from the bottom up, so and it, it doesn't work if you don't have the support. Awesome. Dan, thank you very much, buddy. Thanks. You're